A group of financial influencers has been charged with pumping stocks via social media and then dumping their shares without disclosing that they were engaging in a pump and dump scheme. Probably because pump and dump schemes are illegal and investors aren't interested in being part of it or getting played by it. Now, they generated millions of dollars doing this. And the good news here is that turns out the DOJ does its job time to time. So does the SEC because both government agencies are pursuing an investigation and indictments toward these financial influencers. In an unsealed 44 page indictment filed in the United States District Court for the Southern District of Texas, a grand jury charged eight financial influencers in a large scale securities fraud conspiracy that racked up over $114 million over a little less than two years. So who are these people? Here's a fun graphic that has some of their names. So you've got Edward Constanza Nusu. Perry Matlock, you guys get the picture, Gary Deal. So if you've been watching this content, if you've been taking financial advice from these individuals, Daniel Knight, Mitchell Hennessy, uh, Tom Cooperman, you probably should stop taking financial <laughs> advice from them. Of because course. not only were they robbing you, they were laughing about robbing you behind the scenes as they were exchanging communication about how and when to rob you. And by the way, real smart criminals here, putting it all in writing on Discord and completely unaware that the feds had already started monitoring them and their conversations. So the indictment actually has quite a bit of information about the conversations that they had. So when Knight and Tom Cooperman chatted about their scheme in May of 2021 to pump up the value of GTT communication stock, one of their co-conspirators who went unnamed in the indictment seemed afraid of getting caught as they should have been. The person said, I just want to do the I just want to do it the right way. Knight allegedly responded, quote, the effing right way, we're robbing effing idiots of their money. Oof. The conspirators spelled it out pretty cleanly in their Discord chats, just what they were trying to accomplish. So, look, to be fair to these guys, and we are the fair show. I don't America, think we need to be fair to them. No, no, I'm going to be. Um, they probably thought there are no laws left. I mean, Trump is breaking every law and getting away with it. Elon Musk on Twitter was like, oh, get this kind of crypto. Oh, oh well, I already left and then it, it, the price went down, but I didn't tell you that part. It seemed like everybody was lying, everybody was cheating. There's Sam Bankman Freed and all these things. They're probably thinking, there's still laws? We thought we could just rob people and there would be no consequences at all. And are they that wrong in thinking that? I mean, all the celeb, like incredibly wealthy celebrities and public figures who are taking out the the PPP loans and all of that stuff. I mean, it was there there have been so many financial scams by by people who were already rich, already incredibly powerful, by individuals who of course manipulated the the value of crypto openly. Musk did that all the time on Twitter, just manipulating the price of crypto. And by the way, like there's other forms of manipulation in like the financial sector that doesn't get the negative commentary that it deserves. Like, what do you think CNBC does all day, right? When they have people coming on to hype up a certain stock, hundred percent. That's to increase the value of that stock, right? And then behind the scenes, they sell it after it increases, but they never tell you that part. Right. And yeah. then when the roof caves in, it caves in on you and not them. CNBC, that's their business model. They've been doing that forever. I mean, then you want to talk about the big banks? How about the LIBOR scandal? These guys have been cheating on a massive scale. Did any of them get a like any of the top CEOs of the banks get arrested for that? Of course not. So what's the mistake that these guys actually did? It wasn't ripping people off. It was number one. There's two rules to it. Number one. If you rip off rich people, then you're in a lot of trouble. So that's the Bernie Madoff mistake, Sam Bankman Fried. Sam Bankman Fried was right, ripping people off for years. That's why he was stunned that it was a problem. It's just it, during the later parts of FTX, some of the biggest banks in the world started investing into it. And so when they lost money, God. boom, he got caught and arrested. Okay, so you can't rip off rich people; they'll come for you. Mm -hmm. And then. 
And the other thing is you already have to be rich and powerful yourself and bribing politicians. Yeah, right? good point. So Sam Bankman Fried had that covered. He was bribing the politicians, but he forgot you're not supposed to rob the rich. If right. he had just stuck to robbing the middle class and the poor, he would have been totally fine. We would still see the yeah. the glossy profiles about how oh my look at genius. He's, he's such a hard worker. I mean, he's so wealthy, but he's such a hard worker that he sleeps on a beanbag in the office. I wow. mean, I know that's such a thing that <laughs> That's the, the mythology yeah. that the dirtbags in corporate media do for the rich all the time. That's what Dennis O'Leary like lost in his pants over. I have no doubt. I've watched Kevin O'Leary. Shoot. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure Dennis Sorry to the different. Dennis O'Learys out there. I mean, yeah. Kevin O'Leary. And then now yeah. one more thing that's important about these guys. Guys, when you see these folks online telling you, oh, trust me, I know what I'm doing, okay? You you gotta spend your invest your money in this direction. Watch out, okay? No, well, let's go, go to ahead. graphic four, okay? The second you see this from so-called financial influencers, run for the hills. Just yes. run for the hills. Run for the hills, they're gonna scam you. <laughs> okay, um, so first of all, if they know all these amazing things about the stock market, why don't they just do their own investing? What the hell do they need you and all of your money and all that stuff? They're Why just, do they need to give you advice? They're just looking to help, Jenk. They yeah. want to share the wealth, you know? Okay, look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I love you, but if uh, if I had secret information uh, that was like not illegal, uh, but I, I knew I had an excellent hunch that I was gonna make it, not a hunch, but I was sure that I was gonna make a ton of money from the stock market, mm -hmm. i just make it. I wouldn't go out there and be like, hey, everybody, I got a great hunch. Why don't you all get in on it too, right? You wouldn't even tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Okay, well, we can talk about it afterwards. But my point, and and I'm a good guy. These guys, these dirt bags. You think they're gonna share their secret information with you because they care so much about you making money too? Of course they're coming to rob you. And the saddest part of all of this is that con men like these guys, like Donald Trump, like Alex Jones, they always target the people that they think are the lowest IQ. Notice in their messages, yeah, they're saying, hey, let's go for the dumbest people in America. And almost every time where they go, they go to the right wing, because you're the easy marks. I hate to tell you brothers and sisters, but when you fall for stuff like this, and you fall for penis pills and brain pills from Alex Jones, and that Donald Trump cares about you and not himself, well, why don't you just put a thing on your forehead that says, Mark, 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 come rob me, come rob me. You're the sucker at the table. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.